Hello there and welcome to the 2021 edition of the best PvP setup for ground combat in Conan Exiles. We're gonna be going over armor, weapons, attributes and hopper setup including healing items. First off we got the armor setup. We got the executioner suit giving 3 strength, redeemed legion gloves giving 2 vitality, redeemed legion pauldrons giving 3 strength, Yamatai Warlord Leggings giving 1 Vitality and Yamatai Warlord Sabatons giving 1 Vitality. When doing the PvP dance, always use armor reduction kits on your armor. This allows for more space to carry your opponent's loot when you win, as you then weigh less. In fact, there is very few situations where you want to equip yourself with anything else than armor reduction kits. Okay. I might have recolored this armor black and blue to look extra awesome. Anyway, over to the weapons department. You want to have uh, one main weapon and some catch the running away guy weapons. In this instance, the main damage weapon is the Yogg's Touch, and the catch the running guy weapons is the Venom Infused Pike, Dragon Bone Throwing Axes, and the Bow with Gas Arrows. In most cases, you want to upgrade your weapons with a master weapon fitting for extra armor penetration and damage. The reason for the pike is that it's currently the best weapon to hit the runner with, and it also poisons and bleeds the runner. The throwing axes are equipped together with the axe to quickly stun a fleeing opponent. When it comes to healing, this is the best setup you want to run with. The Ambrosia for emergency heals. This is the best healing item in the game and it heals through damage. The Roasted Hunch for healing when you got plenty of time in between fights. The Concentrated Aloe Extract for emergency heals in combat. And the Numbing Wraps for healing greater amounts of damage when not in active combat. This is how your current stats with the armor pieces equipped look like. Now over to attributes distribution. But first we need to buff up. As Funcom has nerfed the buff fish spawn rate, we now have to resort to the good old potions. First off we have the elixir of grace giving 3 agility. Then we have the elixir of numbing giving 3 encumbrance. And the golden lotus potion giving 3 grit. Further we have the purple lotus potion giving 3 strength and the crimson lotus powder giving 3 vitality. We're gonna be raising strength to perk 4, agility to perk 1, vitality to perk 4, grit to perk 3 and encumbrance to perk 2. The rest of the points are usually put into encumbrance to be able to carry more kill loot. The blunted arrows in the inventory is to shoot riders off their horses, and these arrows drain extra stamina from the rider. We're also of course carrying a water skin and a gas mask to avoid poison. Depending on the type of PvP, it might be a good idea to bring a bedroll, torch or a nighttime potion, or a Gaussian dream dust to be able to see in the dark. Well, that's about it. I could have spent an hour on explaining why this is the best setup, but we can save that for a later date. Good luck and have fun! If this content was helpful, I'm sure you'll find more on the channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.